Today, I have to, what the freak do I have to do? I have to go grocery shopping. Also, I have to meet up with some friends. We're going out to eat at Pont. What else do I have to do? We have to, have to take photos today. Oh, also go do a little bit of shopping. So yeah, guys, you know, we're just gonna get on with it, actually. <laughs> I just did half my grocery shopping just now, but I realized that I need to make my bet for the game tonight. I do prize pay. This is a new thing I'm trying. I've only spent $25 of my money. I have not put in more than $25 and I made $520. I've been playing for a month. I've lost a lot of money, but all the money that I was losing was money that I, that I won. So I'm, I'm not really losing money. Let's see what they got up here. Last night, I definitely lost. For I only do NBA because I only really know NBA like that, but my picks are kind of just on the thought process of, I mean, there's playoffs right, right around the corner. A lot of people don't want to play their star players. A lot of bench players are getting more points. A lot of star players that are, that are on the floor, they're just doing a lot of rebounds in the past not really doing too much scoring wise because they don't want to get injured call me like show me the next video and if i win it i can teach y'all how to be doing it i want i want 5 30 or 25 dollars of my own money that i haven't even spent So right now I'm in the car, you know, we just took pictures and went back home, took a nap, changed, and we back outside. Those pictures that we really took, those took a lot for me, I'm not gonna lie. I am very nervous, I don't know where it came from, about doing, you know, influencer type things in public now. I don't know, maybe because I'm so used to being inside, filming videos inside the, side of the house, I've been doing that for a year straight now. If you've been here for a minute, you know I used to vlog a lot. But yeah, I guess since I got so used to that type, of, doing that type of stuff that, now when I have to do influencer type things in public, it's kind of weird for me, I don't know. The first couple flicks when we were on the staircase, I was like, ah, I don't know. But then I started looking at the photos and I was like, I'm shooting Jamie on good. Some of Jamie on pictures of me was coming out great. I said, oh, okay. I was like, this is starting to look really cool. So then I got like over consumed by the pure excitement of the quality of work that was coming out of that camera and coming out of the skills that we were putting into it. And I fits. I was just like, mm, oh my God. So I, all that, all that came, went out the door. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram because these will be getting posted later on this week. Pop and tag, YSL, slip and gag, catch and tell. I mean, they been one young gunner, yo, YSL. Walk inside the club, I smell that YSL. Fuckin' on your thigh, your bitch, you wild as hell. Oh, I spend a check up on my watch, the frame is wild as hell. Fuckin' on your thigh, I smell that YSL. In that bed, we're gunner, yo, YSL. Spend a check up on my jeans. I am tired. Being in Atlanta for at least 
almost a year now. Traffic is horrible. My car hates it here. When you get here, your car is going to have bumps and bruises for no reason at all. I'm starting to think they did is give out license because I don't know why people just pull out in front of you. Atlanta, there's two types of people driving. Either you're somebody who has somewhere to go or you're somebody who doesn't have anywhere to go. And you can tell who's driving as soon as you step on the road. But it ain't even over, man. I'm just, I'm just like really, really going through it right now. And in a little bit, I have to go shoot a podcast with Jamie on, so that should be fun. Make sure you guys hit the link in my description so you can listen to the podcast and really talk about success and how to be successful and how we got successful at a young age and how we're still trying to be successful and what tips that we did to get us to where we are right now. I mean, I, feel like I live a little nice, a little, a, little, a, little, a little nice or whatever. You know, just something simple. That's something simple in that 22. I'm like, you know what? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Your habits are really the ones that dictate your future. And what you do every day is the things that dictate your future. If you're not doing anything every day, you know, you, your future might not do anything. But if you're doing something every day, even though you feel like it's not working, it's probably something that you learn that's going to propel you to greatness later on in your future. <sighs> you know, mentally, mentally after coming to Atlanta, I feel like Atlanta either can make you feel really bad about your show or make you more motivated because, of course, I'm 22 and I see other people who are also 22 here. They drive Lamborghinis and freaking McLarens and, you know, Hellcats, Trackhawks. They drive all that. Even people that are 20, people that are in high school, college kids are driving these, these $100,000, $200,000, quarter million dollar cars. And you can let that get to you and somebody, you know... Some of these women, they only want niggas that drive those cars. It ain't nothing wrong with it. But you can either like let them eat you up, you can try to catch up with it and fake your lifestyle, or you can really just be yourself, get your money, and strive harder, or you can just see all that and feel bad about yourself and let that shit eat you up a lot. Either way, living alone, I will 100% recommend because I got no problem. I just do whatever I want to do and like, when I put something down, it's always going to be there no matter what. To wind down, I'm just going to, you know, go read and just look out at the city, you know? Got brand new friends for way back. If you my star, I can't change that. If you ain't trying to fuck what I'm here for. Fire brown skin, go Barbados. I'm trying to play these games on Barbados. In Hollywood with Bayroll.